what we have here is the substation design suite and I have the training substation open. I will go into my underground and in my underground assembly I'm going to find my conduit. So what we're going to do is run some conduit. I will open up my conduit and here we can see some sketches. So just like the trench we need a sketch and just like the ground grid we need a sketch to run our conduit. You can see I have um, my main sketch, sketch 1, is identified on the XY plane. And the XY plane in this case is top of concrete. It could be your 00, zero reference or however you wish to have it. I have a sketch 2 coming out. This is the height I want it above the top of concrete. So that's where this is placed. So there's a work plane created. And then that work plane is 6 inches or 12 inches off to this place. And then I project my circle from one to the other. And then I have my location for my spot out of the, out, out of the top of concrete. So let's run some conduit. Let's first go to our settings. And we'll check our settings. Go to the conduit tab. And we're going to select 3-inch conduit. This is all editable in the substation design content editor. So I'm going to leave it at 3 inches. I'm going to leave it at 50 inches below the depth of my sketch. So as I said before, my depth of my sketch is identified as top of concrete. So I'm going to go 50 inches below the top of concrete. And I'll take the defaults. I always like it grounded. And I'll hit Save. So what we want to do is go to Drop, Follow the path, and then we should come into our pull box. So let's let's get that done. So I'm going to be zoomed out to see it, but we want to follow it. So we want drop plus path. So here's my upper circle. I'm going to follow this path, and my conduit's made. If you look, it's I already measured it pre-done that it would go into my pull box at the right height. As another example, I have a piece of conduit over here. And again, the XY plane where my main sketch is, is top of concrete. And what I have here is I'm going to run up from above the top of concrete to below in case I'm going into a trench or something that is below um, grade type of thing. So in this case, I will select drop to drop plus path. So I'll go drop to drop plus path. Again, and I put a three inch piece of concrete uh, conduit because I didn't change the size. Another tool for placing conduit is we can also go direct port to port. So if I had needed a piece of conduit to come from, uh, let's say, this port to this port, I can do that. So there's three ways to run conduit. Now what we also have available is to run loose conduit. So let's hit a 12-inch straight piece. And if you read this enter to insert, so I will just insert it somewhere. And I'll leave it at that. So here I've, I've inserted this little piece of conduit. You can use normal inventor tools to constrain it to an item or whatnot. But what I can do now, I can add my other conduit pieces. And I can just keep adding um, conduit pieces to that. What it will need to do is constrain them at times because I can move everything. So the next step would be to constrain it. So that's adding straight conduit. So what we're going to do now is add some conduit drops. So I will go into my bay assembly. I will go into my transformer. And I'm just going to add a conduit drop to my transformer. As you can see, I have a piece of um, knockout here. And I want to look in my below grade tools, settings, 
conduit, and I'm going to look at the drop here. Default drop is 36 inches. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to put my conduit drop in here. So I'm going to add a drop, and there I'm going to select that circle, and you can see I've added a drop to what I wanted. From that, we can add elbows or whatnot and create our piece coming down off of our transformer island subassembly. And we'll leave it at that. The last piece of conduit to run is some flex conduit. What I'll do, I'll have from my substation on screen, I'll go into my low voltage assembly. This is where I have a electrical box. I'll open that and I'll come into my electrical box area. So I've already added some bushings here. And what I need to do is send, put a piece of flex conduit from point A to point B. This second bushing here was placed manually using normal indenture tools. And now I need to put my piece of conduit in there. I'll look at my settings for the conduit. I, I will change it from two inch I believe it should be three inch. None of this affects the flex conduit. And then now I'll put in my flex conduit. So underneath this run is add conduit run. And here's my flex conduit. I need a circular selection. I hit enter. And there's my flex conduit. So I have a nice piece of flex conduit. And that's it for conduit.